so now i am going to show you how to calculate the standard deviation and the mean for a frequency distribution table using the casio fx991 es plus calculator so to calculate the standard deviation and the mean uh, first of all what you have to do is on your calculator and there cannot be any data in your calculator you have to clear everything so you have to clear your memory first so how to clear your memories i will do it very slowly so you will be able to repeat it with me so press this shift button and press number nine so they will ask clear setup memory and all so you have to clear all so you have to press number three so now press they are asking reset all press equals because it is yes press equals reset all press ac key so let's press ac key so we cleared entire memory now we have to on the stat settings so to on the stat setting what you have to do next is press this mode or setup button press this button after that you have to press this stat which is there in number three which is there in number three stat so once you click that uh, number three what you have to do is you have to just press ac so over here you can see the stat setting is on now over here you can see the stat setting is on so next what you have to do is you have to press shift button and press number one so once you press number one next what you have to do is you have to select this data data is there in number two so you have selected that data so when you are seeing this you can see okay you have a column to enter all the x values but you don't have a column to enter the frequencies that means in your calculator to enter the frequency value that column is not on you have to on that column so how to on that column so everyone uh, what you have to do is to on the column again press shift then press this mode press this mode then what you have to do is in this replay button you have a down arrow click that down arrow once so once you click the down arrow once okay in number four you have something called stat so click that number four press number four so now what they're asking frequency on off so you want to on the frequency column so it is there in number one press number one now you can see you have a x column and a frequency column now what you can do you can enter your x values and your frequency values in the calculator so let's enter it 13 press equals then it will enter the value for the uh, x column then next one is 14 14 press equals then 15 press equals 16 equals 17 equals 18 equals and final one is 19 press equals okay so you can see all the x values i have entered so now what you have to do now you have to enter the frequency so how to enter the frequency you have to go to the top so using this replay button using the arrow keys you can go to the top so using this replay button arrow keys i'm going to the top now i'm going to the top so here for the 13 your frequency is 4 so press 4 again press equals for 14 your frequency is 2 so press 2 and again equals then 5 again equals then 10 again equals then 12 equals 9 equals and final one is uh, for 19 you have 8 frequency 8 and make sure to press the equals most of the people what they do is they won't press equal sign so please make sure to press equal sign once you are done with that value also so you have entered everything in your uh, table so x values you have entered y values you have sorry uh, frequency values you have entered everything you have entered uh, in the calculator so once you enter this what you have to do is press ac button press ac button so after that what you have to do is press this shift button and press this number one button so you you are getting a screen so in this screen what you have to select is you have to select the variance so variance is there in which number it is there in number four you can see over here so click number four press number four so now what we have to find is we have to find the standard deviation so standard deviation you have this sign look at the screen this sign is there in which number you have over here over here you have standard deviation the sign we are using is this so that sign is there in number three okay so if you press number three and most of the people again what they will not do is they will not press the equal sign so press the equal sign once you press the equal sign you are getting the standard deviation so standard deviation for this question is how much it is 1.71592506 so let me write the standard deviation for two decimal places i will write it as 1.72 i will write it as 1.72 so that is the standard deviation for this question so now let's assume you want to find the mean for this question so how to find it again what you have to do is press this ac button okay and press shift number one you need to go to variance which is there in number four 
So mean mean is there over here, which is number two. Here see this sign, x bar sign. So x bar is there in your calculating number two. So again press number two, and make sure to press equals. Then only you will get the answer.